This is a cool little asset that caught my eye. It is called Brute Force Grass Shader. Brute Force is the studio behind this and it is currently going for $7.49. So let's see if it is worth it. I am going to be using Unity Chan with this to do my testing. So let's get to it. I created a standard Unity project and came into Assets Brute Force Grass Shader Scenes and Standard. And that will open up the scene for you. If you go to Scenes, URP, and open up one of the scenes and it shows as pink, it means you've chosen the wrong one. And you've gone and created a standard project. So just go into Standard and go into that first scene, press play. And you can see how the sample scene is set up. It's a lot of different examples. So if you click on the arrow on top, you can see how that changes. If you left click and drag on the grass, you can see it leaves a trail wherever you move your mouse. So that's very cool. If you right click and drag, you can see what happens there. It makes the grass disappear completely and just leaves the ground. And it folds up after a few seconds. Does not work on the big ball on top. But yeah, very cool. You can see here's a maze-like structure you can make. Crumble grass, soft brush. This is a nice effect. It's uh, almost like a bubble wrap kind of thing. It looks very cool. Okay, green leaf. I think I've gone through all of them. Let's go to the next one. This here, you can see what it looks like if you apply it to spheres. I think this looks really cool on spheres, actually. Let's go next. This is demonstration of the ultra textures that are being used and you have mobile textures so that's the light ones there and mobile so that's three of them ultra light and mobile you can see quite a big difference between the three of them and here we can see you've got a scene set up with the ball that leaves a trail as you roll along it that's very cool and this also has a bunch of different effects this one is rain a meadow a nice lushy meadow effect and yeah you can see the effect that different lights has on it so very cool and here we see the differences between what's rendered on a normal pc or linux and mobile or mac okay so next uh, green lush i think we're back to the first one so we threw all the demos now let's see how difficult this is to use and if that price is worth paying for the documentation is provided online. It's at bruteforcegame.com forward slash bruteforcegrassrader. You will have to read the documentation to get this working because I tried doing it without looking at the documentation and yeah, I missed quite a lot of things and just couldn't get it working. It's quite easy once you've read everything. So you just have to go to the getting started. Read through this. It's not a lot, but I will be taking you guys through this in a second. You'll see there's tips on the different grass properties and how to control those. The Mac and mobile shaders are a bit different to the PC one. So make sure you look at this if you are using a Mac or if you want to use this on mobile. And then, of course, using this on the terrain, what's involved there. And performance tips and troubleshooting as well. So it's quite substantial and I think this covers pretty much everything that you'll need to know. I created a test scene and had a bit of a play around already. So I'm going to show you what I did to get this working. Firstly, go into Brute Force Grass Shader and Prefabs. Depending on what type of project, I created a standard render pipeline project. So I'm going in there and set up. Then you can click and drag this grass setup in there. And that's pretty much what I did. Okay, that's what's recommended in the documentation. So I'm following what the developer recommended. The next thing we'll have a look at is there's this grass terrain example, which is quite a nice one. So that shows you if you have a terrain type mesh, what that will look like. I'm just going to remove that. Particle effects is what's going to be used to create those trails along the grass. Okay, so that you will add onto your player. And one we are interested in is this PE player one. Uh, let's see. Next thing, camera effect. This is one of the more important things you'll need to add in. You have to add this in to get it working. So adding camera effect, I've got it added in here. You can see this does some rendering to a texture. And I have not looked at these scripts at all, but your scene is not going to work without this. I'm just going to disable Unity Chun to show you guys what this looks like. As soon as you add this grass setup onto your scene, I've disabled this player that comes with it, which is just that ball. So if 
I press play. This is pretty much what was provided in the demo scene. So you can see that lovely trail that's being left behind there as I move the ball around. I'm going to stop that and disable that. So to get this working on my player or Unity's model, Unity-chan, I went down into the mesh and down to the toe on both legs and added in this PE player prefab that comes with brute force grass shader that's under prefabs, standard in my case, and particle effects that's at PE player. So, so I scaled this down because it was a bit too big so you'll see by default it uses this blue material which leaves this trail as you walk around. So it's not as obvious because maybe scale down a bit too much. Let's just change that to one so we can see what that looks like. Okay, you can see that trail is being left behind. But that is a bit too big, that's why I scaled it down quite a bit. Okay, I'm gonna leave it scaled at that while I show you how to change to the other effect that is instead of just trampling the grass down to wear down a path completely so that you see the actual sand beneath that. And to do that, you will go to the shaders renderer and on the material change that blue material to green and you'll see here that's the green material that comes with this asset okay with brute force grass shader changing it to green and if i press play here that's the effect that we get very cool i just love this effect it's so pleasing to the eye forgot to mention that when you bring your effects into the scene just make sure that you have play on awake set to true or otherwise you will need to enable your particle effects through a script. You will not get your trails being rendered properly. And another thing, when you zoom in, you can see what that looks like. So you just need to make sure that you use this at a bit of a distance. Keep that in mind. This is a really cool looking grass asset. So just for reference, this is the universal render pipeline setup. And you can see the difference here. It looks awesome. But also the standard one also just looks absolutely great in my opinion. So choose what is right for you. This ended up being a great surprise. It works exactly as the developers say it works. Nice and easy to set up and easy to use. And I can definitely see myself using this in my projects in future. So I hope you guys found that useful. Get it while it's on sale or otherwise totally worth it at the full price as well. Until next time guys, enjoy.